Hey guys, happy Easter. I hope you all have had a great day. I know I have. I've had a wonderful day just spending time with some family that I don't usually get to see. Um, I had an awesome church service this morning. Um, and today is a special vlog because I wanted to just kind of talk a little bit about myself and um, share with you something that is at the core of my being and if you guys are going to be watching my vlogs and if you are a fan of fan quote unquote fan of mine um you're going to want to watch this vlog because one of the things that is at the core of me is my faith and if you know anything about today if you know why today is special today is easter sunday um I'll, i always call this day resurrection sunday uh, because today is the day that Christians celebrate uh, the death and resurrection of God's Son, Jesus Christ. And before you hit the back button, before you hit stop, before you exit off this page, I want to tell you something. I want to tell you, I want to share with you why that is at, my faith is at the center of me, is at the core of me. Um, I'm not going to sit here and tell you why you should believe in in God because that's something that everybody has to decide for themselves. I was born with cerebral palsy. Most of you know that. Um, it is not the easiest thing to live with, uh, but it's not the most horrible thing either. Like I told you in my last vlog, I have a wonderful life. I live a great life. Um, and God continues to show himself to me on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, there are so many things that have happened in my life that cannot be called coincidence. Most people don't believe in God because they say that there's too many rules, there's too many regulations, there's too many things that you have to do in order to follow Christ. And the thing is, is that I don't really follow any rules. So that kind of throws me off when people say that. And I, I'm pretty sure they're talking about the Ten Commandments. You know, don't kill, don't steal, you know, those types of things. But honestly, to me, those things are common sense things. Like, those those things are, you know, put in place to um, to help us in our relationship with Christ. And, and really, that's, that's what being a Christian is. It's about your relationship with Christ. Um, it's not about that you follow all the Ten Commandments, that you do all these things, you know, and if you do all these things that you'll go to heaven. It's not about that. It's about your relationship with Christ. And, you know, it's not about being a good person. It's about having a deep connection with Jesus Christ and believing in Him and understanding, you know, who He is. And, I, and I'm still trying to figure that out. And I've been a Christian since I was seven, and I will be 32 in May, and I'm still trying to figure all this out. You know, and that's the beautiful thing about it is a relationship is is built upon getting to know each other. And the more you get to know each other, the deeper that relationship becomes. And God has shown me things, you know, over my over the course of my life that have helped deepen my faith and deepen my belief that there is a God out there who does care about me and who does love me. Um, for example, surfing. One of the reasons that I love to go surfing is because when I go surfing, I can feel His power. Like, I can feel God in those waves. And um, I know that sounds really strange, but when I go underwater, like when I get thrown off my board and I'm underwater, you know, I feel His power. I, I can, you know, it's almost like He's got me, and I, and I just feel His power. So that's one thing that shows me that He is real. Another thing was finding... Jerome's MMA gym okay and I know that sounds strange like all right that doesn't make any sense but what it is is that gym and meeting all the people that have met that I've met have shown me that when I get to heaven I'm gonna be equal like I will finally have a glorified body and I will be equal and I won't have to worry about you know is this accessible is that accessible you know just like it is at the gym I'm going to be on the same level as everyone else and I'm going to be able to have the time of my life just like I do when I go to the gym every week and it's the same thing in becoming friends with my MMA fighters Jessamyn Du, Shayna Baszler and Tara La Rosa like that was not supposed to happen like that is crazy if you think about it that you can be, you become that I've become friends with 
with these beautiful people, you know? And so that's how I know God is real. He's shown me that, you know, that one day I'm going to be able to see his power face to face. Some of you may be watching and you're, you may be like, you know, Whitney, that's wonderful that you believe these things. I think that's great. But I don't. And he's never shown himself to me. And one of the things I want to just tell you is that, you know, I, I've been there. I've Even as a Christian, I've been in a spot where I'm like, you know, God, are you hearing me? Are you actually, where are you? Hello up there. Are you there? You know? And what I've realized is that there's, there's usually something in my life that's not quite right. Um, there's usually something in the way that is preventing me from seeing him and seeing what he wants me to do. So that's what I would encourage you to kind of think about is, is there something that could be in the way that maybe is making it a little more difficult for you to actually hear him? Because I promise you he's there. It's just sometimes we have things in the way that keep us from knowing he's there. One of the things that I just want to leave you with is, for argument's sake, let's say God is not real and I die. What have I lost by believing that there is a God? But let's say he is real and I die and I don't believe in him, then what have I lost?